what is going on guys welcome to your 68th java tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to tell you guys how to make something called J combo boxes now what a J combo box is it's pretty much just a drop down list but that's what Java named it so you know they had to be different so let's go ahead and enough of the small talk let's get started making it and I uh, just want to tell you guys what this combo box is going to do is it's going to give you a list of pictures to drop down in your drop down list and depending on what picture you select is what's going to appear on your screen so that's a real quick overview of the program so we need two variables one's going to be the j combo box which is going to be the drop down list itself and i'm just going to name mine box you can name yours list if you want but again i'm going to name mine box and the next thing we need is the picture to appear on the right hand side of it so i'm going to make it private j label and the pictures are named j label in java and I'm gonna name my variable picture. I mean, why not? It's nice and easy. Now, the next thing we need to create is actually two arrays. Now, you see here, I already have two images, b.ping and x.ping, and these are pretty much just an image that says b and an image that says x with a little graphics on it. So we need to create two arrays. The first array is gonna store the file name, and the second array is gonna store the picture itself. So let's go ahead and put private static. We don't want it to change string. And remember, this is going to store the path, and the path is just a string. And I'm going to name it file name. And we'll set it equal to b.ping. And make sure you put it in quotes since it's a string. So that's the first element of the array. And the second one is x.ping. Make sure I got png, png. And so now we have an array called file name and it has two elements in it b.ping and x.ping simple enough now let's go ahead and add or excuse me create a new array that is an icon array and we do it like that and we'll name this one pics and this is going to store the files there themselves so let's go ahead and as the first element what we need to do is put new image icon and for the parameter of image icon, put git class, and it's going to be this class itself. It's going to select in git resource, and the resource for this is going to be the parameter it takes as a name. And for the name, we can write b.ping, but let's go ahead and write file name with the index of zero. So our first element in this array is the file name index of zero so let's see one two make sure I got my parentheses there are a lot of parentheses here yep that's right so now let's go ahead and just copy this so the first element in this pix array is pretty much this B picture itself this is just the file name this is the actual image so let's go ahead and add the second array by pasting that and the second element is file name one remember um, arrays start at zero and then the next one is one so now we can go ahead and go to our next line so now we got two arrays one stores the file names and one stores the pictures and we're actually going to be using the file names later so that's why I just didn't put the file names right here you'll see why in a little bit so now that we got all our variables and arrays we can go ahead and start building the constructor like we always do so public uh, my class is named GUI and let's go ahead and add a body to that constructor and the first thing we're going to want to add as always is the title and I'm just going to write the title not the fancy and set layout to there we go and the layout for this since we didn't learn layouts yet is new flow layout just like that so now we have a title and a layout on our window what else can we do the first thing we're going to want to do is create that drop down box with the file names is the list options. So I'm going to take that box variable that I created up here and set it equal to new j combo box if I can spell and the parameter it takes here is an array of options. And since we want our options to be bping and xping so the user knows what's going on, go ahead and write file name in here. And what this will do is automatically put all of these options in a list for us. How cool is that? 
So now let's go ahead and get my cursor set up and go to the next line. And what can we do after this? Well, we have this box, this drop down box, just chilling here right now. What we want to do is add some functionality to it. And we do this by add an, adding an item listener. So actually, I'm going to do this in the next tutorial since it's going to take a. Well, I know I'm going to run out of time in this tutorial. But an overview right now, we created a box. We created a variable for the picture that we want to appear on the right side of the drop down box. We created an array of file names, an array of images of my two images. We added a title, set the layout for our window, and we added a box to the window. Then in the next tutorial, we're actually going to be adding some um, events to this box. So when you click one of the options, something actually happens. But for now, that's it for this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next tutorial.